the Federal University of Petroleum Resources, EFUNU. The university was established in 2007. The third governing council of the university, after inauguration in 2013, decided to find alternative means of funding to develop the young institution and provide state-of-the-art facilities suitable for such a professional university. Today's activities mark the beginning of this laudable project. What you are about to see is what the university will look like in the next few years. We hope that all of you who are present today and others who are not here but are part of the petroleum industry will join hands with us to make this dream a reality. Main Gate The main gate of the university is the first attraction as you approach the institution. It is an architectural piece of work designed for security and easy access. The structure is comprised of two floors and an observatory. There are offices for security personnel, changing rooms, surveillance section and security control section. Administrative Building this unique work of genius is an iconic structure designed to carry the image of the university. This building will accommodate the university senate and council chambers. The vice chancellor and other principal officers will also have their offices in this building. This is the heart of the university administration. Many administration staff of the university will operate from this building. College of Engineering and Technology this is the main faculty of the university. As an engineering and professional institution, the university's core departments are in this college. There are presently five departments in the college, namely petroleum engineering, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, marine engineering, and electrical electronic engineering. More departments will be created as accommodation becomes available. This building is an integrated structure of many wings, designed as a complete university of its own with lecture theatres, seminar rooms, laboratories, workshops and offices. The floor of this college building will be reinforced to carry heavy engineering equipment that will be installed in various departmental workshops. College of Management Sciences This college which is designed to provide social science background for the students, will become operational as soon as the college building is completed. The take-off departments include actuarial science, economics, and business administration. Other departments will be established subsequently. College of Sciences This is the pioneer college of the university. This college took off to ensure a strong science base which is prerequisite for the appropriate development of engineering and technology programs. It was established with the following departments, Chemistry and Industrial Chemistry, Earth Sciences with Geology and Geophysics, Environmental Sciences, Mathematics and Computer Science and Physics. School of Postgraduate Studies the federal government currently sends postgraduate students overseas for training. This process costs the government huge sums of money annually. The university is therefore establishing a professional school of postgraduate studies. This school will admit students from Nigerian universities and those from other African countries. The school of postgraduate studies will accommodate lecture halls, seminar rooms, laboratories, research centers and professional institutes. University Library The University Library is the backbone of the institution. The structure is beautifully designed to suit the status of the university as the first in Africa and sixth in the world. The library will be outfitted with all the necessary modern equipment and gadgets to meet the world standard. As a reference center, the structure, which has three floors, will contain sections for different books and materials, reading areas, offices, conference rooms, lobbies, and control room. Auditorium The University Auditorium is a center of academic and social activities. It is designed to accommodate a large number of people, performing different activities at the same time. The various spaces in the auditorium are designed in theater or cinema arrangement for better view of activities and academic programs. 
museum and conference center. This is an important part of the university. The museum will showcase various equipment, materials, tools and components used in the oil industry. The conference center will be used for local and international conferences on petroleum technology and engineering. Exhibitions will also be held in this center. Convocation Arena The university has not held a convocation ceremony seven years after it was established, largely because there is no facility for that purpose. Therefore, a befitting convocation arena is proposed for ceremonies leading to the award of various degrees. It is a huge arena that will contain a large number of people during convocation and matriculation activities. Student Center The Student Center is an integral part of the university community. This is the headquarters of the Students' Union Government. The Center is designed to accommodate offices and meeting chambers for the Students' Union. Other facilities in the Center include Event Center, Mini Cafeteria, Business Center and Shops. Students' Hostels the students' population is expected to reach 15,000 by the year 2020. The university intends to provide 11 hostels for the undergraduate and postgraduate students. There will be different hostels for male and female students, and each hostel will accommodate 1,000 students. The hostels will be fully equipped for the students' comfort. University Guest House as a professional university, local and international conferences will hold here frequently. As participants and guests arrive at the university, they will be accommodated in the guest house. The guest house is also expected to contribute to the university's internally generated revenue, IGR. The structure has rooms and suites, conference halls, restaurants and shops. University Council Lodges the University Council Lodges is an integrated structure with the Chancellor's Lodge, the Pro-Chancellor's Lodge and lodges for all external members of the Governing Council. It also contains accommodation for visitors of Council members and staff quarters. Vice-Chancellor's Residence The Vice-Chancellor's Lodge is built to offer convenience and comfort to the occupants. It contains apartments for the Vice-Chancellor and his family his guests and domestic staff. Principal Officers Resident There are six principal officers in the university. What you are looking at is the accommodation that will be provided for them, which compares favorably with those in other universities. Professors Residence Each structure of these professors' residence contains three semi-detached duplexes, Ten units of these structures will be built to accommodate professors who will lecture in the university. Senior Staff Quarters The Senior Staff Quarters is a block of six flats. The university intends to provide 20 units of these buildings. These will be constructed to accommodate as many senior staff as possible. Junior Staff Quarters these are beautiful blocks of 20 flats of two bedrooms each with ample space for parking and outdoor activities. The university intends to provide accommodation for as many junior staff as possible within the university community. Therefore, 10 units of this category of building will be provided. Staff Club As the saying goes, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. This is a recreation center to be built for the exercise and relaxation of staff members. It will contain indoor and outdoor sporting activities as well as restaurants. Commercial Center The commercial center will be the hub of commercial and business activities in the university. It will also serve as a source of internally generated revenue, IGR, for the university. There are spaces for banks, supermarkets, bookshops, clothes shops, eateries, etc. ICT Center The importance of this center to the university cannot be overemphasized. Today's world is driven by information and communication technology. This center will affect all the departments and colleges of the university as well as individuals. 
The center will have an e-library, classrooms, seminar rooms, workshop and other relevant facilities. Medical Center The university intends to have a well-equipped medical center to serve the university community. The medical center will operate on inpatient and outpatient basis. Students Cafeteria a well-equipped and furnished cafeteria is planned for the undergraduate and postgraduate students. Students will not be encouraged to go into the surrounding villages to buy food as this may sometimes cause problems. Road Network The government of Delta State, under the leadership of Dr. Emmanuel Udwaga, has graciously promised to construct a network of roads in the university. The entire university community remains very grateful to His Excellency. We wish to use this opportunity to specially appeal to our able governors of other oil producing states to also show such magnanimity. The area in which the university is located is swampy, as is the case in most areas of Niger Delta. Therefore, the cost of building a solid structure that will stand the test of time will obviously be high. All the structures are bigger than what you saw on the screens, but we could not show all the elevations and interiors because time will not permit us.